Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your April 2020 general reading. It is a general reading so it will not resonate with every Cancer. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so um, thank you to those who already did so. So Cancer, the shells that came out for you, for the most part, beautiful. Um, so we have abundance, we have marriage, we have thoughts, we have career. And we have lies. Um, I think cancer, some of you have met someone who you really like, you love, or whatever. Um, some of you have concerns around your career. Your thoughts are pretty much around how is your career going to take off? What's the next level the next step in your career some of you i think some of you want marriage you want to have an abundance of happiness of joy of fulfillment in your life but what rests between the career and the the love life are the lies um either from you or another person um some of you are juggling juggling your love life and your career or you're juggling two people your thoughts are are pure they're they're good they're you know they're genuine feelings of of wanting to be with a particular person but you don't know how you rectify the lies you don't know how you you move past the mind games, the lies. Either that you have caused or someone else in your circle has caused. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay. Cancer. What's going on for Cancer, Lord God? Bless Cancer with a clear and concise message about their life. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every cancer. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Okay, that card just flipped up. Five of swords, didn't I say? Yeah, the lies and the jealousy, the mind games, your thoughts. Your thoughts are of, of um, maybe failure or, or winning at all costs or a fear of failure. Uh, or having failed someone, maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or there's like an insertion, there's interference within a connection, within a marriage, within a long standing relationship, or just boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't know. There's like somebody trying to insert themselves, interfere in uh, the, the affairs that are going on thus far. So let's see. Okay. Ooh, these cards wanted to come out. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, lots of change here. Nine of Cups and the Devil. Be careful what you wish for. Are you ready for it? Your wish may be, like I said, it may be genuine. It may be pure. It may be of, um, you know, you wished out of your highest self, out of your highest good. But you may not, the lies and the, the past junk, you may not have, it may not be clear yet. Be careful what you wish for. Because you may already be entangled in something that is going to take time, energy, and effort to get out of. Some of you are in the public eye. You get a lot of recognition. You're very attractive. You're getting a lot of offers. Um, you don't know which one. To, well, you know what to take to, but... You just don't you, you sure you don't want to get caught up yeah somebody maybe that you have a significant past with is coming back wow um so here's the adverse of, of the shells what we saw were lies and thoughts and we saw that in the first in the five of swords and the five of pentacle not being confident enough feeling like it's not going to go anywhere feeling like the energy effort time is just not enough or you don't have enough to give or you feel like there are others inserting uh themselves in in your affairs right now in your romantic affairs right now 
um, having wished for something better or something true but not knowing if you're exactly ready for it because you haven't dealt with the past just yet uh, while all while um, all of that is going on being having met a soulmate or a very good person being in love with this person uh, but not telling them um, carrying some some burden here maybe even some secrets some lies of the past still carrying the burdens of the of a of a past you know it could be in regards to sexual activity other partners many partners uh, how you treated women or men in the past but very much wanting to have something solid and stable with a particular person. Um, nine of Swords, yeah. Something causes you a lot of anxiety because maybe you just aren't being honest. You are lying. And it, even if it's lies by omission, just not including, you know, maybe toxic behavior, addiction, um, negativity. I don't know. Yes, once another card of secrets, the high priestess. Feeling like you met a really wise, powerful, understanding. This is womanly energy. You can, you know, say it's a man for you if you feel like you want to do that. Could be a Piscean person. Feeling like you can't get over on this person. Feeling like you can't. You can't deploy the same tactics you have deployed in the past with other women. It's womanly energy. Or men, I guess, for some of you. But did you feel like this person is very intuitive and wise. They know before you even say. And they keep the secret of knowing. They don't say, well, I know that you, that you already know that they know. It's very hard to lie to, yeah. You want to communicate something. You want to cut something out, start something new. There's a challenge in having something new here. But there's victory in in the opportunity, in the opportunity to communicate clearly. This is the advice for you. Two of swords, yeah. You can't be so guarded. Some of you are guarded wanting to speak your truth wanting to tell somebody how you feel wanting to tell them everything but still guarding your heart and your mind or your heart and your mind are not aligned your heart says one thing your mind says another you do nothing but stay at a stalemate wanting to say wanting to do so much you could be dealing with a libra yes seven of pentacles i mean you're looking at this relationship marriage business whatever it may be and you're coming off as waiting, being at a stalemate, reflecting. You may be taking time to cut back, to prune people, places or things. I don't know. Because you want the Ten of Pentacles. And you know that in order to get a firm foundation, a long-term goal fulfilled, which could be with another person, you're going to have to cut out some of that old stuff that you used to do. Some of those old people. Some of the old ways. Yeah. Self-reflection. You're taking time to discover what is not right with you. So that you can move forward in a more wise. more And more understanding of self. Know thyself. Knowing yourself um, fully and completely. Looking at past experience. Three of Cups, yeah, very nice. Um, and then coming together and being able to celebrate maybe uh, good news, union, something turning over in your favor. Okay. Some of you are really conflicted about giving somebody a message of love. Page of Cups, Five of Wands, like if you like the person, if you love the person, um, just say it. Five of Cups. You, you get all the fives here now. There's a lot of change happening in in your sphere, in your life. Um, 
in your marriage, in your relationship, in your love affairs. Things didn't turn out how you thought they would, maybe with one particular person, but you've got a real connection back here that maybe you are not taking to just yet because you're still stuck on what was and what isn't. Yep. Three of Swords, King of Pentacles. Maybe you got your heart broken in the past by a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or you are that that male that got his heart broken. Maybe you gave a lot. You you cared too much. You set up for a foundation for people who were keeping options open, or, or they kept the heart space open for another person, in which it led to the Three of Swords. Could be with uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, someone who is um, attractive. You could be having communication with this person. Who is this queen of? Okay, so this might be the new person. Um, you might be doing something behind someone's back, or someone else's. There's the lies. There's the games again. Um. What is this? Let's just get some additional advice. It looks like cancer, you, you have communication maybe with someone who you broke your heart or you broke their heart or just broke off. It, it, it just didn't go well. Could be Gemini, could be Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Um, you have communication about that trouble and the jealousy that was in your relationship. Or or you're having this, this communication with the person that is now in, in your life, the one that you like, the one that you have found a, a spiritual, a mutually beneficial connection with, you have that conversation with them and um, you kind of clear the air here. But then you're also doing something behind, is this a bad thing? Within the next few months is what we have, success. Yeah, it looks like you will have success in something. Listen to your intuition. Okay, the high priestess did come up. Meditation brings answers. Let's see. Take action. It looks like you will. You're doing something in secret. In the near future, improving health at the bottom of the deck. Wow, you have a yes answer. Let's see what this yes answer is about. Okay. What's the yes answer for cancer? What's the yes answer for cancer? April 2020. April 2020. What's the yes answer? Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Fell right out. It talks about moving in together. Taking the relationships to the next level. Engagement. Doing something very foundational with you and another. Or starting a business. There might be a message that comes from someone who you are estranged from. Or you give a message to somebody because you've got a lot of self-awareness and clarity now in regards to you and what it is you want. Yeah. You may... You may wow. You may be asking this person to marry you or vice versa. They're doing this with you. This is a very dynamic woman. She's coming up as three queens. The queen of wands, the queen of pentacles, the queen of swords. She's very intellectual. She takes care of her body. She cares about herself. Um, she cares about others. She cares about her home. She cares about her children. She cares about her husband, if there is one. Um, the queen of wands, she's very attractive. She's charismatic. She's outgoing. She could even be funny with the queen of wands here. Or if this is a guy, this is everything that, you know, he embodies. Yes, this is your life partner. Yes, you've got two tens with this person. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Knight of pentacles. Uh, three of cups, celebration of maybe um, proposals. Ace of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Wow, two of cups, 
Queen of Wands. Seven of Wands. Some of you are defending and protecting this relationship. The Queen of Swords. The Alien or the Hermit. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, wow. You really, really want this. Um, yes, this is your person. Now, every sign is here, so I can't really drill down on signs. But yes, Cancer, this is your person. You want marriage with them. You could have that with them. You can have abundance with them. You've got to get past the old stuff, the old way of being, the old lies, the old way of communicating with with maybe the opposite sex. You have to be open to learn new, be new, do new. This is new for you, okay? All right, so Cancer, thank you. If you feel like this reading resonated with you, you can go over to the website, book your own reading there, or you can go, uh, or you can text the number below. You can text a question or eight to the number below. You can pay for your questions all on your mobile device. Excuse me, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Um, it just makes, you know, things go a little bit faster. You very uh, accessible to me and me accessible to you. So thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.